see record. Okay. Yeah, you click record. And now you should see on the green little bar underneath a little I, red dot. I do see a little red dot right there. Recording that, that, on this computer. That, that means you're recording. Yeah. Sure. So yeah, usually this like thing can happen zero to three minutes or like it can take, you know, up to five minutes or something. And then you f announce your voices around five minutes into the conversation. Like so into the, the first podcast. five minutes is just just it's ramble. Just, we just we're just catching up. Well, we you know? Yeah, you're just catching yeah. up. Yeah, you're catching up. Gotcha. You're talking about whatever. Maybe you bring up something from last week or whatever. Yeah, you just kind of ramble, and then like then at some point, at somebody says, "Oh, we got to like introduce ourselves." So then we go around and let each the person listening uh, hear each individual voice from who they are. They'd be like, "Hi, I'm Matt Taylor, and I really like to fart in people's faces." And then, you really, Matt? Um, I mean. No, not like really. Yeah. I usually I don't I usually don't like try to push one out to have a comic effect. I've done it sometimes, but Brian's really good it's a at risky it. Risky habit. Yeah, Brian does it and he's done the fart on fire before. He'll like grab a lighter and just like bend over in your face and fart it and just poof, big ball of fire. Brian would do that. He's done that before. It's just pretty random. Brian's the type of guy who knows a random facts about every single thing in the universe and would fart fire. That's, that's Brian. Oh, dude. So in the banter part, are we in the banter part or should we figure out what the other part is? Oh, damn. That's your screen. That was weird. I tried to move it. Uh, well, you can take over. Um, no, no, no. I don't want to. No. So, I mean, yeah, this is just the banter part and then eventually, then you announce your names around five minutes into it, I said, and then it's you, there usually is a sponsor tease, but we don't have a sponsor. And yeah. then we could just start whatever topics we want to do. Music for dummies, the sponsor area again, and then you read the sponsor copy and then you go back to your more topics. That's the flow of some place, some things. Wait, this is the second podcast, technically, right? This well, one, yeah. The, this I mean, I, different. Then, well, this is the third, I guess. This is the th third time? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't really remember actually talking about this one, or maybe this was the one that I was kind of drunk for. That was this was the one you were drunk for, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I remember, I remember thinking about talking about these things, but then I remember wearing a night mask more than so actually doing the, the <laughs> I don't know. Do we want to bring up other topics or I mean, I've got a, I've got a list of topics here that are conversation starters. Chili peppers, not the red hot chili peppers, but like how much chili is good in your food? I, I like spice, but I mean, I'm not going to like eat something that's just all spice. It needs to have flavors and, and what? Fun. Yeah. I'm just, just chilies. I don't like hot for hot sake. Unless it's your mom. Oh, see, we'll see. We oh. can talk, <laughs> we can talk uh, about that. We can no, talk I about do. I, I need you to teach me how to do good um, salsa that I can find around here in my foraging of Publix. Like, Publix and Windex are the two places I go. No, like, the Publix's downtown do not have the raw sort of peppers you can get them at winn dixie but it's like one little mark and there's like well you get them you types. get the dried peppers and really yep. save a save a lot has the biggest mexican section and so does aldi's but save a lot really has the most mexican stuff like of any grocery store like just regular grocery store and i just get a bunch of the, like a whole bag of these red dried peppers yeah you get peppers. different ones yeah. dude my arm is still burning from when the blender exploded dude it, like i made i made napalm basically <laughs> it was because it was it was boiling hot liquid of peppers and then it exploded on me and my skin's all red and that was like two hours ago so it's still burning hmm. what is the uh the arrested development thing that burns them all when they try to use it like i don't know that episode that i feel like you've seen that which one? Oh, the what they make the in Arrested there's like Development. a there's a recurring joke in Arrested Development where they try to use some like corn baller or something like that, and it's oh, every time yeah. they use it, it burns them. Yeah, yeah, corn baller. Is that cream? 
No, it's like a corn ball. It's like a Margaritaville oh. or something, but it's just makes a corn the dog. The machine, the machine. Yeah, the machine that's itself like, burns them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, yeah. And it's like yeah. the shitty invention <clears throat> that didn't function correctly. Yeah, and then they sent it to Mexico and it was like popular there. Probably, yeah. They probably sell it <laughs> with the Vive Mas 100%. There's lots of things like that here that you just wouldn't really use or see ever. There's also no refrigerators for anything. Which that that one just weirded me out for a long time, the lack of keeping your meat cold, but I guess you just don't really have to actually refrigerate meat. It's okay yeah, I to I don't believe that. No, it's I okay wouldn't. to leave it out in the sun. Nope. For the day. After That's it's fine. cooked, possibly. But no, before. Before it's fine. <laughs> what do you the... mean it's fine? Are you, you uh I just I just ate some. I just bought it from a guy in the park. There was a guy selling chicken in the center of a park. Um, so I bought some chicken and I put it in my backpack. It was probably there since the morning, sitting on a table in the park, and I just ate it. It was great. It's two two bucks a kilo, good price. And he two bucks a kilo. That sounds like a really like, good price. And he like prepares it however you want. You don't like just buy the piece. He like cuts it. He just does everything. It's great. Um, yeah, but I think that's probably why everybody gets sick when they first come to Mexico for like the first few days and has explplosive diarrhea of doom. See, that and sounds then, awful. But I and guess then after you that, you're that. used to it. Yeah, because you. Develop body. new back bacteria in your right. stomach where suddenly it's Eating. not a problem to eat meat from the park that's been sitting in the sun for the whole day. It becomes fine. Uh, and you you no longer no longer refrigerate eggs or milk. Uh, uh, and you eat park meat. I could I could be fine park with the no refrigeration meat. eggs, but I mean I have a refrigerator, I might as well use it. Yeah, the milk I don't understand. That's okay, crazy. well there's there's two type of milk. There's like the milk that's in the cooler in the store, and then there's another type of milk that's also milk, but I think it's just not pasteurized, so they just put it in a box. Maybe Mr. Derek knows the answer to that. Mm, I don't know. Because I think it's, if it's, it's unpasteurized, you'd want it refrigerated. Then maybe it's the I don't know, but it's like the same brand. Right. Sells one in the fridge, and then there's one I forgot what word it says on it, but it's like straight up milk, and it's just in a box on the shelf. In Poland, they didn't refrigerate their buttermilk, but they refrigerated the other type of milk, like regular milk. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember, but uh, yeah, it's just there's two types of milk: fridge milk, and then not fridge milk. And then, all, and then the eggs, dude, apparently you just don't need to refrigerate eggs. That's just a myth that right. we believe. Yeah, I it's, can see that, sure. It's... does It It might help them last so, longer, though. Not, no. It doesn't really, though. Uh, no, like, yeah. like, for real. Um, it's, but once you do refrigerate them, you then have you have to keep them to. refrigerated. Yeah. So like here, here they sell them on the shelves in the store. So as long as you just keep them not in the refrigerator, like in your cupboard, they're fine. Yeah. It's like the eggs from my mom's farm. The chicken shits them, and then she just like you like they don't have to like have a fridge process. They just, you know. Right. But my mom also just leaves meat on the counter for weeks on end, and it's fine. So. So you're <laughs> used to this already. So. Yeah, but um. I went to a steakhouse with Orlando over the weekend, my friend. And I was like, yeah, all the Mexican steak meat, they, it's so thin always from the market, and they cook it, the shit out of it. He's like, that's because the ones you buy like on the street, you need to cook the shit out of it, or, or there might be bacteria. And I'm like, there was like two weeks that I ate a ton of steak, and I was buying like thick cut and having it like medium rare and that's when i was like deathly ill for three weeks so there's probably some truth yeah to, if you buy if you buy park meat you just need to cook it all the way <laughs> park meat. dude i was buying like filet mignon like thick and eating it rare 
that I, you know, yeah. that I bought. It's like, okay, so that was like a little stupid there, but. Yeah, but why would you want to eat that fully cooked, you know? It's like a waste. Exactly. So, like, he told me, if you're going to buy steak, like, for that, he's like, then you would go to, like, a carniceria, like, a, where they actually refrigerate it, you know? Because yeah. there's places where they refrigerate it. Just, most places don't because they just, like, this is what they get for the day. They sell out of it, and then they pack up their table and leave the park. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not really, like, a park. Well, it is a park, but it's, like, a pop-up. It's, like... Tent city, tent city up here. Like a farmer's market. Derek, are you peeing in the corner? Sounds like <laughs> it. Yes. Yeah. No, oh, I mean, I got Bluetooth headphones, man. Yeah, he's Go just in the bathroom. He's in the bathroom right now. That's pretty sly. Right? Go, go pee in Doosty's room for old time's sake. <laughs> yeah. Matt. So Matt, somehow in the conversation, Mr. Host Matt Taylor, somehow yeah. in the conversation about different types of meat and should you refrigerate eggs, the idea to include the topic of who you would trade dicks with appeared in your mind. <laughs> it's something that I think about often, you know. Was there was there something in the conversation that inspired you to think about the trading of the dicks? No, I'm looking at another list. I just thought it was a good little conversation starter. Well how many dicks have you seen that you know you want to trade? You don't want to know the type of porn Matt Taylor has probably I watched. just I don't know if I've even seen the dicks that I want to trade with. I just want to like trade with them, you know? So the, you just want to trade with mystery dicks? Not mystery dicks. I would like to choose the dick, but yeah. But you haven't seen them? Well, I haven't seen the dick probably not. How no. long is this trade for? Permanent? Uh, I don't know. For like I mean, a couple hours a day? Let's say a week. Let's say, a, you know, whatever a week is in hours. That's how many hours you get. You get seven days. In the future? And then, no, I'm like. Dick trading shops? No, so what you, if you can like trade, trade dicks with like James Bond for like, you know, a whole week and you get like, boom, you get James Bond's dick on your penis. What do you do with that power? You get it on your penis? Like it's growing off <laughs> no, your no, penis? No, 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 like it like, replaces. Like you and, you and James Bond trade dicks for like a so week. No, James Bond has my dick, right? <laughs> yeah. He's going to bang a lot of foreign whores. <laughs> yeah, then you <laughs> get it back. back. STDs and then I get it back <laughs> while you use? No, yeah. I don't want to do that. <laughs> That sounds awful. All right, then Man. it's a permanent trade. I don't know. You get a brand new. I don't want his dick forever. <laughs> what if and James Bond has a really small dick? <laughs> you don't you go have the, the risk, man. What about I mean, the other? Like you very James rarely Bond seen. know. What? All right. <laughs> this this James like so when you have this wish with your genie or at the dick trade shop, right. does James Bond know? Like he could be in the middle of a mission fighting shit, and all of a sudden he feels something in his pants and then he looks down and suddenly he has this weird half circumcised <laughs> cock yeah like out like does he know like is he warned like no dick, dick not about warned. to begin in five seconds or is he just like <laughs> no <laughs> he's not warned at all no. and I'm like oh my god i have a new cock yeah he would feel something down there and then he would like you know when he when he kills everybody in the room he would go and like all right look at his dick and like this is a different dick what does he feel when it happens? Like what is a little the window pops up and says, "Matt Taylor would like to trade dicks. Do you accept?" <laughs> yes, no. Yes, yeah. So he can click no. He has a choice. No, no. I think he has no choice. So the, window, just like, the window. The window. Whoever you choose, yes. it's just like you. That's your superpower. Whenever you want to switch dicks, that's your superpower. You that's, just get it. So you get a. That's week. the superpower you want. Yeah, so and, the and, then that, and that turn that's you can turn it off at any moment too. So like you control it. You can make it last for one minute or a lifetime. It's just you know so your that, skill level of power. The superpower you want is to be able to touch the penises. Um, as many men in the world no, as you Think want. about, he no, could save so many lives. I could save he could, lives. He could trade dicks with like a huge, like, you know, huge dicked porn star, right? And then he could trade, he could trade that dick with like a really pissed off foreign leader. And then that leader now doesn't, he's not so angry anymore. His dick's not as small. He's happy now. So he's all foreign leaders that have war. small dicks? 
<laughs> Some of them probably do. Now, now the question is, do I get do I get their sperm and all of the bits? So, like, if I have this power, can I like take over their sperm? I mean, fuck, imagine if Trump had a big dick. He probably wouldn't even have ran for president. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. He definitely has a small dick, and he's trying to prove it otherwise. Yeah. I thought – This is a good superhero concept. Deucey, I thought you were going to say that he could save lives because, like, the moment some drunk person was going to make the mistake of ejaculating into a woman, Matt could quick switch for their dick <laughs> and then just, like, like blast oh. loads. Yep. So Matt, Matt could just stand there and move on top – and just like constantly be the moment someone's about to unprotectedly ejaculate, Matt would just switch to their cock. Yep. Yep. So Matt, it's a great, it's great for you. Yeah. You get to just have everybody's orgasm. Yeah, I could. <laughs> I can the steal their know. orgasm for them. I can steal the orgasm and I can use that to like in good ways. Like that's my like Spider-Man sticky web, you know, shooters. I just like summon these dicks to like sticky right. web. <laughs> web shooters so matt you basically want to be the summoner of dicks <laughs> i don't want to be I'm, i was saying the hypothetically oh you don't want to be you don't want to be so you were in this story you were chosen to be yeah, the i don't, summoner have, a, of I don't dicks. have a comic book character name or a superhero you're a tragic crap. hero because you're saving lives <coughs> you have to handle the cocks of millions of men how did constantly. i get these how did i get these powers am i just like a x-men mutant who just like came about when i was like 13 or something you were born this way. You were yeah, born yeah. this way. So you were slapped on the forehead by a radioactive <laughs> dick. <laughs> you could do it the opposite way too. If someone's like that you don't or whatever it could be anybody, but say they're like up on the podium giving a speech, you could be just in your room jerking off until right before and then you switch and then he's standing up there and just like <laughs> While he's gonna, giving a speech or something. I'm going to add this into Wish on Nickelwood, I think. He's a good candidate, <laughs> he's a good candidate for this power. I need, some, I need to take some notes here. So keep going. I, I, I need a, this is going to be great. When he finally comes back to Earth after his flying forever, he's, this oh, is going yeah. to be slapped in the face by the radioactive dick and have the power. Who is this? Player. What is this? Is this the another b- a book he's writing? Mm-hmm. What? Is just is this another book you're writing or a book you're writing? It's it's the it's the yeah it's the it's the one for Doosty and Michaela. It's just for them. It's only for two people. Uh, I already forgot. Radioactive. If the someone radioactive ever read, throws it in his face. Gets if hit someone by ever a- like read my notes, they'd be like, "What is this? What like what is this nonsense?" Actually. Matt, one day Jeremy's girlfriend like saw one of my notebooks and she's like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, Are you okay? I don't, I'm like, I don't think you understand these notes, but you shouldn't read other people's notebooks. Radioactive dicks or dick. Slap Radioactive dicks slaps person to in the, the face. face. To the face. Tragic hero saving lives by handling the cocks of others right yeah that's the gist okay sweet i can't wait it's gonna be great that's all sorry i didn't mean to ruin it (laughs) i i totally interrupted everything sorry that's fine i mean we're recording you can always go back to if you miss something that's true oh that's that's true yeah, well, you already got the notes here. So. We just got to listen to it. Yeah. Which I haven't listened to a full one yet, but I think this one might be gold. So that's maybe like that was a good segment, and then you go yeah. to something else, right? That yeah. was great. That was kind of funny, I think. So now we got to so, talk about another I mean, another thing. You you. Well, okay. What other superpower would you want? Oh yeah, there's. I mean, is, are we already done with? I think we started I mean, with the trade dicks, but we could do the right. Yeah, well, superpower would you want? You, we just need to have that screen on at all times, so exactly. somebody can make the transition. Just read the fucking shit. We went into superpowers with the dick thing, and then uh, uh, we can nobody has on. to have yeah. the presence of mind to tie it into superpowers. Superpowers, oh, like, yeah. Because it's like that was like impromptu, and it worked really well, and then. 
when I killed it on accident, then we just, then it's just like, okay, move on, right? Move on. Basically. To the next one. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So really, if there's just like 40 things on the screen and then you just like delete them and we can use them one after another and then you just keep adding to the pool of shit, right? Yeah. We yeah. Could. I kind of like, I kind of like what we just did there. Like if it was like we, uh, we like are co-writing a, a, like a retarded story together about one of the topics. Right. I thought that was, that was, that yeah. was just pretty great. Like, like how did, I, I don't even know. It was pretty. Why pretty don't, great. why don't we just write? The Nishan Wick, whatever the fuck his name is. Wishon <laughs> Nickelwood and Roots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, he can, he can be, it can, you know, we can, yeah, it can be like we're writing him in the podcast. Yeah. He can just be, he can just be the, the extra character who represents, you know, if we're talking about dicks, probably most of the time we'll be talking about dicks, you know, I'm guessing. No. I mean, maybe. <laughs> I'd rather not, but um, I, just I just thought of a, um, this superpower thing got me thinking. Not necessarily what superpower do you want, but based off of your personality, what's the superpower that you're most likely to get? Oh, man. You know, Is it related to a personality? Like, Sure. Like, I, I mean, like, uh, you instantly know how to play any song ever or something like that i mean that's not really superpower but you get what i'm saying yeah i think i'm just really good with the computers i can figure out how to f do computers they just work around me that's right. not a superpower that's well, just a skill. mutant power i mean I guess like, some like on uh heroes that one little kid can like touch a tv screen and then hack into norad or whatever you know? yeah like, maybe once I'm good, I'll be able to do that kind of stuff. I think I'll just be able to start with, like, stealing some money from an ATM machine or fixing, right. like, yeah. people's Wi-Fi really well. It's like, oh, your phone, I touch it. But maybe Matt, eventually Matt I can just... Superpower is fixing Wi-Fi. Fixing Wi-Fi. Well. Oh, your Wi-Fi is real good. Okay. Yeah, Alex... Oh, my God, Matt. We need Alex, better Wi-Fi, Matt. Help us. I can what? You, you could have, like, the superpower of, like, any song you hear, you could, like, instantly play. Yeah. I think mine, yeah, I can just, like, just learn things really fast or something like that. I'm like, oh, I can do that. Oh, I can do that. Oh, I can do that. Yeah. It's not really very useful. It's well, like, it's, oh, I can do a whole bunch of well, that's, stuff. Um, that's a character called Taskmaster in the Marvel Universe. He, like, sees something once and he knows how to do it. Or he hears about something once and he knows how to do it. Or he reads oh, about the it. Oh, the little chicken heroes can do that. Yeah, the, in, like, season three. Yeah. Yes. Heroes is just a ripoff of X-Men, really. Or <laughs> everything, yeah. Right. yeah. <coughs> What's the worst superpower that you could think of? Being doosty. <laughs> That's That'd be pretty fucking lame for a superpower. <laughs> But I mean, like a legit, like, especially if it was somebody who didn't know Doosty. Well, everyone has a superpower. What's yours? I'm this guy named Dustin McDonald that I've never <laughs> even met. Like, I can, like I can just do uh, everything he can do. Like super, some super lame. Like he, he you can, like, always know exactly what time it is, or something yeah, like that. That's exactly yeah. You always yeah time man. You you always know what time it is. You ask him, got it. Or, you know when everybody will take their next shit. Oh, you, yeah. got about, you got about two and a half hours, buddy. <laughs> like, till what? Till you have to take a shit. Just let you know, like, oh, thanks. Like, I Plan your I'll day just, accordingly. I guess I'll just wait for it. <laughs> Tomorrow you're going to take one shit. Like, thanks. Thanks, stupid superpower guy. That's terrible. <laughs> I, there's... All right. What about this superpower? Sounds lame, but it could be cool. Um, if you know, if you like where you're standing, you can see the same place you are standing, like 24 hours in the future, or like some time in the future. Like you can see in the future, only in this, like one place you're standing. But so like what, a you know, what if you're cool. walking? What if 24 hours ago you were taking a walk? No, you you have to be like standing still using your power, like. You're you're not good enough to be able to like do it while you're moving yet. That could be pretty awesome. You could so you like, have to like plant yourself and then look around in like a five foot bubble, and you're like, all right, this is going to be what's happening in 24 hours. Like 
you could you could use that pretty well. Like, I know. Okay, yeah. so Pfizer Forum is where the Bucks play, but they also have concerts there. Like, so you could go to a concert the night before, and then sit there and then watch the, the game, game yeah. and then you could bet on it because you know the outcome of it. Oh yeah, you know? I was thinking you could make a bunch of money, but you'd have to sit there <laughs> for the whole <laughs> fucking game. Yeah. But, or I guess you could just go to like the very, just go at the very end of the game mm-hmm. to get a score and then pop back and then just place a bet on whatever, you know. What's but, what's Ducey's superpower? Um the ability to turn into any horror movie villain. Ooh. That's pretty good. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah. There's a lot of good ones in there. They you all just have their want uses. an excuse to kill, Dusty. <laughs> You're goddamn right. You just want any reason specifically to begin wreaking havoc on the world. Specifically, I just want to haunt you. I would love that. I I really wish the milk. Sometimes I go to I go to bed like and I I try to do a spooky on myself because I'm very you know alone a lot of the time, and I'm like just laying under the cover and I just start singing Milkman to myself. <laughs> And like looking at all the dark corners, but you haven't appeared yet, so it'd be really freaking sweet if you did. Give it time. Yeah, it'd be really awesome. I still, I know like this little girl who lives below me, she's the niece of the guy I rent from. And I'm just like trying to figure out how to like ask if I can like film her drinking milk without sounding like <laughs> what? <laughs> very weird. <laughs> But, like, they know I make music and, like, videos and shit, like, all day, you know? How old is this person? She's, like, eight. Yeah, ask her parents and say why you're going to do it. Yeah, ask her her if she wants to be in a film. Like, Like, do it. Ask her if she wants to be in a video you're filming. And, like, yeah, it's just. Should I word it like that? Should I ask a little girl if she wants to be in a milky film? Not a milky film. uh, No. No. Yeah, but I think I think I just need to ask, but I need to like plan it more because so far all I have is filming the legs of someone from behind going up the stairs, empty milk bottles, and then a little girl drinking milk. <laughs> That's all I have so far. I was just gonna do cuts of that. Should there be more people sure. drinking milk? Um, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't really like it. milk. You don't I like don't. Milk? Yeah, I don't like milk. Well, people who have a milkman do. Uh, right. I'm sorry, I did it again. That's just one of the villains, do you see? What else? What other villains? What do you mean? I don't know. I sometimes have a tendency to just chop the what we're talking about and go somewhere else. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna be a team what, player. Well, what is your? Did you say what your superpower was? Just learning. That's shit exactly. Things? No, that's exactly. I'm never gonna share it because I can't. <laughs> Why? That's the whole point of this. I have a, yeah, that's my superpowers. I have an amazing superpower, but I can only do it completely alone. What? Nobody can, can ever see it. I can never share it. I can never tell anyone what it is. I can never Bye. use it to help people. I can just enjoy it completely alone because it doesn't work if there's any human who can see me. But what happens if you tell us? Well, it'll just go away. You won't I can't. Be able to do it ever it's again. Like I, it's like, like I, like, he all tries. Right, so my just like, yeah, it just goes away. Uh, it's like I like I like I can't. It's just I, I can't. Can you write it down? It's no, I can't. I can't. Here, I'll try. No, it didn't work. It's really cool, but I can't share it with you ever. Hmm. And I can't. I can't help you. Like man, I could really use Legal's superpower right now. I think, but I'm not sure. What makes it yeah. so cool? What if it's, it's just, just like? It's just amazing. I mean, it's just <laughs> it's just really the best thing you will never see. It's so good. <laughs> And it's uh, it's just sucks, really, because I don't even really like enjoying it that much. Because if I guess it, can you like acknowledge that I was right, or what? You no, just, I, I can't. I can't. Okay. All I can say is giraffe. Like no matter what you guess, I just say giraffe. <laughs> I'm hoping it's like you can eat peanut butter without your mouth getting all stuck together or something. Giraffe. <laughs> giraffe. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's a, it's a bummer. It's not as cool as turning into a murderer. <laughs> well, 
we can't all be murdering people. Otherwise, there wouldn't be anyone left. Do you, see, do you really think, do you think like some, like I know now it's like this funny thing, but do you think, who knows a decade from now, like do you think it's possible that you might decide that's where you're going to go with your life? Uh, I, w- I would say more closer to like maybe 70 years old if I make it that long. So you think there's a chance, like just, you know, who knows where we're going after, if anywhere, you know, whatever, doesn't matter. That's not the topic. Like, would you maybe consider becoming a murderer just because you're like, well, I've got about five years left and I've always, I, it's I'm like being, on your bucket list. Like I'm being, being recorded, so I cannot answer can't that. Say it. <laughs> no, don't want to say it. So you won't right. admit to a hypothetical crime you haven't committed in 40 years. Correct. What if Minority come... Report becomes a real thing, dude? So it's going to come back to this, but you're already going to be so old. Like, you're not going to care. You'll have it. Yeah. Well, of course, your first murder, the person will be laying next to a bottle of <laughs> empty bottle of milk. <laughs> Even oh, if they weren't drinking it, you'll be like the wet bandits from Home Alone. You'll just like leave an empty milk bottle. I feel like that's person. like already a thing. What? Like the milkman murderers. Oh, it's got to be a thing. Well, Google it then, Mr. Matt Taylor. Oh my God, there's a comic book series called The Milkman Murders. <laughs> awesome. What's with this visualizer we got going on here? I don't know. I just <laughs> it's just it's great. It's just <laughs> great. something to focus on. Um so, yeah. yeah, so oh wow. And the publisher is Dark Horse Comics. Yeah, they're a thing. They're actually a popular yeah. thing. <clears throat> so there's there's two milkman with a horse in it, but this one's obviously you know, it's See, done. you're not that original, man. You're not. It's that. all. It's all done. It's That's all everything's all. already. This guy's done. smoking crack over here. They all well, have very large noses. They do. That looks like Roger Daltrey. That guy. No. So. Oh, he's doing some cocaine. I don't think it's quite exactly what I envisioned here for the milk, man. So you need to do your own. Oh, there's the milk. I finally found the milk. The milk this looks shot. obscure and small and not that popular, so I could just... Yeah, you can just do your own thing. Yeah, and then maybe if someone's really into the milkman murders, then it can tie together. Yeah. And really, that song was just just to both of you. I like, I like to just make things just for you, Deucey. I've noticed you're like my muse, dude. Good. Keep making <laughs> stuff. It's like if I just think I'm making it for you, do Steve, suddenly I have ideas. For real. Good. Yeah. If I think like I haven't gotten anything in a while. It's kind of bullshit. Well, I've been I've been re recording Citrus Horse songs. Some old songs getting them back up to snuff. He's got kidney and tiny T V coming out soon. We have fifteen songs. We have fifteen songs to be finished, finalized. Mm-hmm. So when's that album coming out? January first. Is that a target nice. goal? Or? No, that's that's happening. That's 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 realistic. I think that yeah. gives that gives Matt that gives you and Brian a month a, to a master. month afterwards. Yeah, a month after I'm gone to to master. It's gonna have an A and a B side. The A. So side when is, you go ahead, sorry. The A side is like nine songs, I think, with lyrics. And then the B side is what? Six songs, just instrumental, that are obviously like longer than the other side. Yeah. So I'd say it's what, about two hours worth of music? So when you go back yeah. to Florida in November, are you just recording all of this stuff? Yeah. Not redoing all of it, but like maybe redoing it. Yeah, because we have, we have like, a bunch of songs with one or two takes on him with guitar. So we want to just like get these songs and have him do more takes on the guitar parts he already has just better guitar takes. But yeah, we have like the run Ducey song and the might and gong water and all of these songs are already done. We can kind of trim them up and then just have him record like eight guitar 
tracks and find the best one. And you can like change the things and do some different things and spend more time on it. Cause like Xiphoid process just took eight seconds to make. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty simple song. Yeah. But it's like 17 minutes way, long. I can walk all the way down to the fridge without uh, losing you. On my oh, own. wow. That's Derek's superpower right there. Yeah. He can right. hear, he could hear within a range of a hundred feet of refrigerators. <laughs> if, but if there's no refrigerator, you can't hear. You can't hear, you can't hear anything. You can only hear if there's a refrigerator nearby. So that's you invent a battery powered pocket refrigerator, one that's about this big, and you just keep one piece of ice in it. Yep. And you care one beer, maybe <laughs> like a bill. Oh my god, dude, why has nobody invented the refrigerator that only holds one beer? <laughs> what? It's called know. a koozie, man. It's called... <laughs> yeah, it's no, it's koozie. like no, but you they come in a pack of 12, so you have 12 stackable refrigerators with little tiny doors that you can put individual beers in. Are these can, battery powered? Are they portable? What's uh, they have like um, a uh, there's like one thing you plug in that like it's like the Tesla or something. I don't know that it like they're rechargeable. It charges through the air like within a hundred foot range of just tiny refrigerators. It keeps them charged. That's terrible. You can't take the. Yeah, I want to take my tiny refrigerator to the park or something. Well, there's the there's the solar adapter, right? And it holds the charge, <laughs> obviously. So. Oh, obviously. Yeah. Add the topic invention, invention, invention inventions, moments. Just inventions. Yeah. Inventions. Just inventions. Just inventions. <laughs> we should have that every week. Yeah, a, 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 a new invention. A re, our next, our week. next recurring state. So, segment. so yeah, Matt. Things like inventions and story time, like put story time after inventions. And they're they're every week sort of things. Like things that like at any moment you can be like, man, that'd be a story. That'd be a great story. Or, you know okay. what I mean? Or like, man, there's that could be an invention. Like, man, that was my band name in high school. Whatever. Yeah. What was the invention again? Oh yeah, 12 tiny refrigerators powered by a plug-inable Tesla node thing with a solar power option if you decide to go to the park to buy park meat. That's quite... So do these separate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all like, yeah, they're separate or they're magnetic. Like you can stack them. They're like a Lego. They're like a, you can like make you them into have, different... You could have them all around your house so that Whenever you're ready, you could just like reach under the couch and open this little refrigerator. Exactly, exactly. Um, it's recommended okay. by the company that you buy at least a three pack of 12, so 36 refrigerators, and then you get really, really drunk, fill them with beer, and hide them all over and forget. It'll be like when you find a dollar, you just find a tiny Dude, that refrigerator sounds, with one ice cold beer in it. You just be like, oh man, dig it in your laundry basket. You're like, Awesome. A tiny refrigerator. Open the door. Take it. <laughs> awesome. Uh, it's so fun. Sounds like a really fun Easter egg hunt. Yeah. It'd be great. I think it's uh I think it's a mildly useless yet semi fun, super overpriced invention that maybe about eight people would buy. Uh yeah, at least eight. Yeah, well, we have four right here. I know we have four. Derek's probably going to order six. <laughs> if we're not buying our own product. Derek, I'm going to put you down for six right away. Just, I know you're going to have some crazy. You're going to, like, make a ladder out of it. So you can, like, climb a ladder and open yeah. any part of the ladder and have a beer. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, like, you could stop on any rung of the ladder and have a beer. <laughs> Ladder drinking. What? No. Ladder drinking. Why isn't that a thing? Why aren't people hanging out on ladders drinking together? Like Probably lots of reasons. Yeah. There, you could have a ladder, and I could have a ladder, and then that Matt Houston awesome. could also have ladders, and we could go to any level of the ladder and drink, and we could have like a bucket tied to a no. rope. You gotta, you gotta climb the ladder. 
you have to drink the beer on the first rung, then go to the second uh, rung, drink that one, oh, work your wow. way to the top of the ladder. That's a fun so game. The drunker right you get, the higher you go, which yep. sounds like a really good idea. You know what? Taylor, number 18, drinking games. I love this <laughs> idea, actually. <laughs> number I think 18, this is new amazing. drinking games. <laughs> yeah. So, and then you the have to make it to your, the roof. By the time you get to your uh, 24th beer, you're 24 feet in the air. That's fucking tall. And you can pee off the ladder. It's fine. What? You can pee right off the ladder. Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah. And you'll always be able to hear, Derek, because we'll have a fridge nearby. What happens I mean, when you get to the top? I mean, do you, do you win? Is that the win? Or do you have to get down also? Then you do the Mario slide down where you like yeah. the outsides of it. And if you want to get your kids involved, you just get them a step stool. They only have to drink two beers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then they're to the top. That's not bad at all. Awesome. Family friendly. Family that's friendly. That's not a bad idea at all. I think we should actually and Matt, do some, and, some Matt, and Matt Taylor is already on the roof, facing the ladders, exchanging cocks with the world at the moment of <laughs> orgasm. Yeah. You know, okay, I have a you little have twist on this that. game. It's like global guts, dude. It's like global guts. You have to, like, drink and block Matt's sperm with an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> You you don't have to stay on the ladder, but you can only go as high as your last beer. And so if you finish a beer, you have to climb up to get your next one. Otherwise, you, you don't get a beer and you lose. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think you have to stay on the ladder. Why would you want to go down? I mean, whatever. You know, I mean, there's no reason. You don't have to go down, but I'm just saying you can't. If you stay on the ladder, then you don't have to go up and down. I think there should be a penalty. If you go down, you have to, like, also take a shot every time you go down. Oof. But I think it would be funny. Okay, so if you stay on the ladder, there's no – like, you're going to fall when you're going up and down, which would be funnier to watch someone else do, you know? So we're all standing on the bottom, and it's like, oh, Dustin needs his eighth beer. He's got to go up to the eighth rung or whatever. And then we all get to watch him go up so he can grab his beer and potentially fall off. And then we can laugh oh, at him. Oh, I see. Okay, that's I'm pretty saying. cool. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. So we only need one ladder. One ladder, that's, yeah. So there could be that's the version if you don't have, like, nine ladders. Right, yeah. Yeah. So. <clears throat> I like that. That's good. Yeah. That's, it's just like leveling up, man. That's Level great. 14. Yeah, how I used to keep track of how drunk we were. Yeah. Yeah. Which... So the other day, I after we went around, whatever, you don't know any of these places. Um, <laughs> I, I, I went to, you, you don't know, I mean, I was going to be like, what is it? It doesn't matter. You don't know what these places are. And I went to orlando's house and he's like oh i have this like belgian beer and the bottle was like solid cream color and looked like really great and fun mm -hmm. uh, so i had one um then i had two and i had four total and dude i was wasted like wasted from four beers what yeah they were like a double dark ipa something oh well yeah yeah it was probably like, like not Ten um, like percent or something like that. Yeah, it wasn't like a three point five percent beer like I was used to having. It was. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like it. I had a hangover there, the next day. There was a bar that was like six blocks from my house when I lived in Denver. Um, that served only beer. There's no liquor, but they only had like ten different beers on tap at any given time. And every single one of the beers on tap had to be 10% or more. Whoa. That's nuts. Yeah. So it's like, it was like the 10% minimum club. Yeah. And it was it's only tough. beer. It was wild. That place was awesome, actually. And I always changed out like what they had like every like couple weeks. Nice. 
That's, they only have uh, two beers on tap here everywhere, and they're the same two <laughs> beers. <laughs> Unless you go to, like, a brewery with more beer, but uh, the bars only have two beers <laughs> on tap ever. What are they? Uh, Dos Equis Lager and, and Amber. Oh, okay, nice. Or I don't know if it's no, it's not amber, but it's like claro and oscuro. So like the lager is the light one, and then they have the dark one, whatever one yeah. that is. I, I don't even know. They just say they just have two. It's light and dark. That's all you right. really choose. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, there's bottles of beer, but the tap is just two beers, which is weird. It's like I've never seen a place with unless it's a brewery. Like yeah, because that's a, that's a thing too. But. Not very popular thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's where Matt takes over. That weird, oh, and then we go silence. into a new, and then we go into a new that weird awkward silence, Matt. You got to be on that. Yeah. So that's yeah. So that's when we talk about something else. Um, yeah. Who would you trade dicks with again? <laughs> Which yeah, no, that's that's, Wait, that's a good one. What, what is with this clone thing? What's going on? I don't know, it's just, just clones. It just says clones. Yeah, says I'm clones. confused as to what I don't know that means. What about clones? Like, are they are they possible? Are they going to happen? And are they inevitable? Inevitable? Or... Inevitable for what? Like, are they going to happen? Are we going to have like clones in the future? Like, are we like gonna be already cloning animals, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm talking, okay, how about humans, I guess? Yeah, because I guess cloning animals is already there. Yeah, yeah. What was that sheep's name? Dolly or something? Dolly was, the, yeah, the first. <laughs> that was, like, in the 80s or early 90s. In fact. I mean, I'd, I'd be surprised if we didn't already have human clones. Ah, so they're already there. They're already there. We just don't know about them. Yeah. Yet. Born July fifth, nineteen ninety six, and the first female. Is she dead? She died of lung disease and severe arthritis. Hmm. Is there a chance that one of us four is a clone? Uh, would you know? I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Or one of one of one of the four would know. Oh wait. Oh, maybe. You How don't would know. you know? Yeah. Story time. Story time. <laughs> story about clones so you don't even know you're a clone like you were cloned Me? yeah matt doesn't I'm know cloned? he's a clone i mean if and nobody else I've... does either and his life's exactly the same isn't that the plot of that fucking like ewan mcgregor movie or something uh, it I sounds like... like a plot of a movie but i don't know the scar joe yeah, they're like clones, and they. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Uh, the island. Oh. Yeah. It was a book, yeah, and a, and a movie. That's that's the movie that made me fall in love with Scarlett Johansson. So. Are you serious? Yeah, man. I like. I think oh. the the one. Oh, about, that was uh, a good movie. What was it? I forget what it was called. The one where they're like breaking into that record place or something. Wasn't she in that? What am I thinking of? Empire Records? Empire Records? Oh, yeah. She, oh, was, yeah. she, was, she was better. Yeah, she was. She was better. She was good in that one. She's always the same. Also, Scoop, man. Scoop. Scoop. Yeah. I think that was early 2000s. That was a good star Joe. Scarjo, she's been around a the, lot, man. Who's the other actress chick who looks exactly like Scarlett Johansson but isn't? Doesn't exist. Doesn't yeah. exist. Uh, she's in like other movies, but they I I never know which one's which. I don't think there is anyone. There is. Unless I'm just seeing Scarlett Johansson in different movies. Possible. Is that Pacino? Is that Woody Allen? That no. huge, man, I didn't watch this movie. It's good, man. I watched it while I was working at uh, that video rental place I worked at. Premiere Video. Yeah. I've never heard of this movie, and it looks great. Yeah, 2006. 
You worked there for so long, dude, Steve. That was great. Just four years. That's not that long. Yeah, well, that it was is... like it was like a, when we were younger, so it was like an infinity time. That's true. Right. You know, it's like dog years. When you're that age, four years is like like thirty. Yeah. Four years is your entire life. Yeah. Now now years are worthless and time just slips away. Yep. Time just slips away, man. Fall into I've been in boring. Florida for eight years now, and I'm just – I got, like, an image that popped up. Like, oh, eight years ago, this happened. I was like, oh, that was, like, the first picture I took in Florida. Eight years ago, yeah. we met, Matt. I know. Yeah, we I met the same – I put a little ad on Craigslist. I know. I we we, we met little, up, like, in December or something. Yeah. Maybe found November. my little Matt Taylor. Yeah. What a great, what a beautiful beginning. Matt, do you, just side note, do you realize the technology music things that we make now, when we first jammed, I just had an amp with like a wah pedal and a tube screamer. Yeah. And you had like a Casio keyboard. Yeah, it was terrible. Like and that was, <laughs> and we were, and we were just, just loving it. We were in like my zero bed, no, one bedroom one bedroom apartment and you were like living on the couch and we were just jamming it was great and with like nothing and now we just have more stuff and it's yeah i mean it's you, yeah so you've great. gotten really good at the computer electronic making stuff you were always like kind of annoyed with the computer and my electronic stuff at times and like you finally see that it's a pretty good tool if used properly. Yeah. yeah. Well, Matt, about like three years ago, I changed my song because I used to, you just weren't that good at it. Oh, know? yeah. <laughs> That's very true. Very and true. it was like impossible to play music with you because it was oh, like, yeah. you know, it was, but then like, it was whenever, never the same. It was like a few years ago, I was like, dude, Matt, this is awesome, you know, but I still didn't want to do it till you right. and Brian basically conned me into doing it. You know. And he just wanted to steal your guitar sounds, so to yeah. play around with. And now we have now, bass too. Now we have a bass player, dude. Daryl. It's a very traditional Cuban name, Daryl. Daryl, yeah. Oh yeah, Daryl from Cuba. All those. <laughs> <laughs> but that's like his legit name, Daryl. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I will work on the side tangents that I go and kill whatever we were talking about. I will try to do that less. It's very difficult for me. So then I kill it and then Matt you're talking about something. Well how how long have we been going? I didn't even start like a timer or anything. So like an hour. So yeah. Much. This would be about the length of our conversation. I feel like three or four of those things in there were decent. Oh, yeah. A couple of them were. You get your shit together. Who? Oh. Right. Packers are playing right now. Oh, boy. I see a lot of Packers jerseys for sale at Liverpool here. It's really, I don't understand, like, if that's, like, a thing or what. Yeah, that's weird. I don't really see other teams, but I just keep seeing Packer jerseys. I haven't seen one person wearing one, though. <laughs> I see quite a few for sale. I don't I know. Packers down there. That's maybe, oh, maybe this year the Packers are playing at the Mexico City game. Because isn't there like a game every year in Mexico City? Yeah. Probably. But it's, I mean, it might be the Pack. I doubt it. But yeah. It's usually some shittier teams that do that stuff <laughs> yeah so. well i just i just learned about that because pat will work called me and was like dude i want to come down for the football game in mexico city and yeah. i was like if pat will work is the first dude to visit me then i just don't have friends <clears throat> well you're visiting me what are you gonna do down here while you're here for a week uh it'll be more than a week but i'll be oh. uh Hanging out with you, I'm guessing. Oh, okay. I was just, I don't know. Yeah, probably uh, hang out with you. All right. Maybe hang out with my sister in the daytime and then hang out with you in the night. My mom will be there for like a week. Oh, that's uh, cool. What, she just come down to meet, see you too? Is she going to drive your truck down? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. No. 
That's uh, I just sent the plates back to Florida. So now that is a plateless truck in Wisconsin. So, nice. Yeah. So I'm going to just put it up for sale for $10,000. No, not bad. And maybe sell it and maybe not. And not, I don't really care. So uh, Derek, in the winter, do you have to plug in cars? Like we used, we used to have to do that in Canada. If a car is not being used, should you like do something to it? Uh, the only reason you need to plug it in is to heat up the oil pan. Uh -huh. you probably don't have to do that. That's not, yeah. So if I'm just not going to drive it, just disconnect the battery, right? You don't, need, sure. Yeah, that's a good idea. You don't even really have to do that anymore. But really? Might, that's oh, fine. Yeah. Well, I'll just tell Jim to drive it. That's fine. I didn't know. Yeah. But the, you, you probably don't even have an oil pan warmer. Thing. Yeah, pr probably not. Yeah, because the car we used to have that we had to plug in had literally a plug hanging out of the front of it. Yeah. The plug yeah. in. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Not a thing anymore. Nice. Some some cars still have it, like Alaska and stuff like that. They all come with them on it, but you know, gotcha. really need to. But did like, it, didn't didn't it just snow it, like this week? In La Crosse, it did. Yeah. Yeah. Not here though. Got kind of cold. It was like 40s, but um, but yeah. So even last year when it was like negative 50 degrees or whatever, you know, polar vortex. Mm -hmm. Like my truck started fine. No, really, no any problem. So gotcha. But, that would be La Crosse, Wisconsin. <laughs> why, are we, why are we looking at it? No. Matt. Matt was curious about it. Beautiful place. Beautiful place. Missile strike here. <laughs> no. Actually, actually, in that in that green zone, in that green zone, that's where this little the area? car, the car launching after the presidential assassination was going to be. No, 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 no. The the marsh north of that, the yeah. big marsh <laughs> north of that, where. We were going to launch the car off after our daring escape from assassinating yeah. the president, right? In that, yeah, in that marsh. Oh, area. my God. Do you remember <laughs> that, Derek? Uh, yeah, I do. That's Why I were you assassinating? Because uh, we were stoned and we were on a cliff yeah. and George Bush was coming or something like that. Yeah. So we were going to kill him, run, flee, and launch the car off the cliff into a yeah. burning blaze of You're on a list I now, buddy. Yeah. And I parachute out. I don't know. That's fine. He's in Mexico. He doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he people, moved to Mexico. People ask me all the time, dude. They're like, because where I live, there's no white people. They're like, what are you, what, like, why are you here? And I'm like, oh, I'm running from the law in America. And they go like, oh, all right. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you were really casual about that. Like, do you need a lot of run like fugitives? And I'm like, maybe, I guess. Or they just think that, you know, that would, be I guess that would be a logical reason to see uh, a white person or something. Mexico. Where are you at, man? Does everybody down there love uh, the soccer player Chicharito? You hear that? Uh, they all. I don't know who that is. Zoom in, Matt. They all uh, have we their like, own. Are we uh, on the north side of town, the south side? No, in the center. See that big road through the middle, close to uh -huh. there. Mm. Uh, keep going. Where it says Viaducto to the right. Uh, via the, other, the other right. The other right to the uh, right. This, this right. He's going to the left right now. Oh yeah, where is? I don't see viaducto. It's more to the right. V to the right, dude. Via, yeah, viaducto. Right Keep going. Yeah, zoom more into viaducto. That's where I live. It's like, right, there's nothing really special there, but it's really close to, like, uh, damn, that looks like a lot of people. So many people. Is that yeah, Torres? Uh, what's I don't this? Know. You should find like Coruña to the right, I think. But 
uh, Pet Petrosilis, Torta Tortazel. Right. Yeah, dude. Oh, Tortas El Paisa. Yeah. I go there. I go there. That place is awesome. So, yeah, where are you at from that then? Yeah, Coruña, like right there. Yeah, La Coruña. Yeah, La Coruña, yeah. That's like basically this is where I live right there. Bomb yeah. here. Bomb here. <laughs> Dude, that's so <laughs> funny. You're like right above. Yeah. Um, the actual, I can see your window, man. Basically, I live on one of those rooftops. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Yeah, dude, the weird thing is they don't really, like, if you look from above closer, they don't really paint anything. Like, they'll just maybe paint the front of the building, but not the sides, just like blank concrete. But, yeah, there's there's no – that's what everywhere looks like. It's just, like, really It bad. is just red and, and there's, like, a green. Like, 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 do you see that, dude? There's, like, literally no grass anywhere. Like, every house is connected. Every yeah. single house is connected. You got a lot of packed people in, man. Dude, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah, like one of those roofs. Um, I mean, I guess I can show you exactly which one, but it's all. Is it this roof? This looks like your little roof. If I go outside right now, will you see me? No. Be, no I can't be... wait till technology is there, dude. <laughs> really? Do you oh, want yeah. that? Do you want that shit? Well, why not? I don't care. I'm, they already put me on this list, you said, so whatever. Is that a pool on top of that guy's house? I gotta go there. Uh, maybe. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's really big, but uh, it's like with the metro and the bus and the bike, everything's pretty close somehow. That's weird how it morphs into the like. The other mm -hmm. way. Yeah. Oh, that's a big street. It's really freaky when you ride your bicycle on those big ass streets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just running. Run, Dusty. <laughs> I'm just running. I don't know if you can. Do you know this place? El Globo. Oh, yeah, dude. I go there. Where are we, at? are we in your neighborhood? I'm going to come find you. Yeah, go right. All right, I'm turning right. No, 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 yeah, like yeah, go this straight. Way? Go straight on the street you're on. Straight. No, 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 not that uh, one. Left. This one. Yeah, straight. Yeah, straight all the way. Uh, let's see. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And then left at the next road. Wait. Like this road? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Left right there. That's the, the bread the bakery. Straight. Yeah, this is my street. That's really weird. That's my house to the left. Wait, wait, wait. This no, thing? not that one. No, no, no. Yeah, you're right in front of it. Left, left, so more this left. This right here? No, left. Yeah, but no, this no, no, no. You passed it. Left. No, the other, other. Yeah, right. See it? No, yeah, right there. This one? Uh, do you see that porch up there by the satellite dish? Uh, yeah, right here. Yeah, that's my porch. Nice. On the, on the, no, no, no. Not the low thing, the up uh -oh. thing. Up this right here? Yeah, up above that, up above that. That's that's below me, and then I'm above that. Hmm. Oh, where did you go? I went to the side. I wasn't going to yeah. see. Do you see what I mean, though? They don't paint the sides of buildings at all. No, yeah, they don't. That, uh, you go back to the left, back to the left. See if you can go go back to the above ground view. Above ground oh, view. yeah, yeah, let's do uh, that. Go Just back. scroll back. There we go. So this would be your building right here. Red thing. Damn. Yeah, if I, I didn't zoom even know in, you could get that view in this shit. Yeah, if you zoom in and then I zoom out, I stay right here. This is that little place. This is your little Yeah. So it's it's right next to the Yeah, it's uh, like the, this the, and then the, I'll go the, 2D mode. And the 2D mode should get a little better, higher quality, I think. No, right next it's to all the, the same. Matt, if you if you're in 2D and you hold control, you can like swirl around and stuff. Go go back in. Oh, you can. Yeah. 
Weird. So what? yeah, that's your building right there. Is this? It's, no, yeah. not that one. The one right next to it. It's the tall one. Next to the vagina doctor. Yeah, right yeah. Next to the vagina doctor. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the roof. Uh, where? Yeah, it's kind of weird looking on, but yeah. Yeah, it's uh, this building right here. No. Well, wait, this one? <laughs> yeah, the tall yeah, one. This one. Yeah, yeah, that top top layer of the tall one. Yeah, that's that's where I'm at currently. Uh huh. But yeah, I don't know why they don't paint the sides of buildings. I guess they just don't really. It's too care. much paint, man. But no, for real. If you look from above, you see so much concrete. You know, only in the fronts of the streets you see like colors. But yeah. <laughs> And there's then, really not any good reason to paint concrete. Exactly. So it's like, I think, they, good, I think so. they just were like saving money. Yeah. Uh, back up again, Matt. Back up again. Wait a minute. I'm going to add a missing place because by gone it, Alex lives here. By gone it. Uh, no, uh, no. Lodging. There you go. Now Alex lives there. Now you know. I'm going to say am. directions to here. See how long it's going to take me to get there by foot. Of course, of course. Um, four just... months. <laughs> I'm guessing four months. All right. By foot, dude. By foot. Wow. <laughs> 600, wow. 632 hours? Is that hours? That's not that bad. What is that? 632. That's not that bad. 632 hours? That's about 26 25 days. 26, 26 days. 25, yeah, 26 days. Is that to walk? That's yeah. to walk. I just not have to go bad. all the way around there. Well, you factor in sleeping and shit. It's probably getting up closer to three months now. <laughs> now let's look about biking. So 169 hours. Nice. <laughs> And then yeah, transit, can we get there by bus? Oh, it doesn't look like it. How about driving? Been pretty good so far. I'll be there in 33 hours, Alex. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, I'll just come pick you up, man. Sound bad. Are we losing Alex? Fresh. You got that fresh new PT Cruiser. You can actually, it's like really Man, you cheap, have a like, PT Cruiser? I do. Yo, Greggy. Huh? Yeah. 33 hours, not bad. Yeah. You could do it. But Matt, you should you should come sometime. I was walking around the market today. I was like, dude, Matt and Kaylin would just love this shit. It's so oh, I great. bet we would, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I'm uh, getting the passport. Place, passport soon, so. Dude, it's, it's literally. I haven't heard anything from them yet, but. You will. It'll just appear. Yeah, it'll just appear it's one day. It's literally like. 200 bucks round trip most of the time from Orlando. So cheap. Yeah. Yeah, I would do a maybe weekend. A, maybe a little more, but yeah. Come come for more than a weekend. Well, I guess I'm going to ask off for a day. Well, it's just easier to get off days. The problem is her weekend or her weekend is usually Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so mm -hmm. I'd have to come probably those days. Yeah. <laughs> Was that Greggy? Yeah. Still smoking like a chimney. You smoking in the house? So we're pretty much <laughs> we're pretty much done. Yeah. This is this so. concludes the the podcast for this week. I mean, I does mean, it or or we? I, mean, I think I think next time we should really make it. I think we I think we're trained now. We're yeah, yeah we're good. We I mean, it. I think we have an hour of solid 
talking time. We probably did like an hour and 20 tonight. Well, I think for 15 minutes, we just looked at Google Maps together. Right. Oh, <laughs> yes, absolutely. I found you. You did. You that's, found me. That's well, why well, I assumed we were done because Matt well, wasn't moderating see. anymore. Um, oh, that's right. Yeah. I, this is completely unrelated to everything, but did you see that the St. Augustine um, show had a song that we went to on the Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame? Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one? I didn't see that. Uh, their version of Attachments that we saw was – Oh, really? On nice. The Hall of Fame. Dude, that was a really, really good show. <laughs> yeah, dude. And that song, it was really fucking good. I listened to it like three times on Friday. That's Friday. That's I, – I only seriously listened to Humphreys McGee Hall of Fame. So that's awesome. That's like my favorite thing that they make. Uh, yeah, nice. for sure. Yeah, it's always the best. So it, yeah. Exactly. That's the best of their music that year. Best of their best. Yeah. Well, sweet, dudes. I'm going to eat more food. Yeah. And... Yeah, I'm going to go get some food. To Same make. with me. Yeah, I'm going to go find some food. Well, Matt, great job. Did you, huh. did you work on those songs at all? Um, I worked on – kidney i think yeah that's what i yeah i've worked on kidneys drums if you haven't listened to them yet no um, you did, i haven't oh yeah I, I worked on that one um there's a lot of unused stuff in that song like that song is like eight minutes long and then there's like another song i just later. kept all the takes yeah yeah because. Like, okay. but i figured that the song that, is the first song the first part okay and the that rest makes sense. is like other takes and so, i just I just left it there because I was yeah. like, why, de why delete it? Right. That's, that's fine. That's fine to do. I didn't know if that was like usable or not. So I, yeah, that first song that like eight minutes, I did like one pass. I probably want to do another one, but you can go listen to it. Um, I will. That um, one. And then I think I didn't. No, I don't think I touched anything else yet. I need to do open and close because I think the other one's pretty good though. Well, Tiny, Tiny TV. Yeah. Tiny TV is pretty good, isn't it? Or did yeah, you... I need some touch up. I think. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah, I can do that. I, one. I need some Matt Taylor touch. I know? can do. I can play with Tiny T. I haven't, I haven't opened it because when I did open, I was like, oh, that looks pretty good. So. Yeah, and then uh, I forgot close, I did the drums wait, on that. Wait, wait till after tomorrow because Daryl's gonna record the bass for it tomorrow. Sounds perfect to me. But, but yeah. It looks so serious. Yeah, I was, I was waiting because usually, usually you send it to me when you after you edit it, oh, you're like, right. oh, it's done. So I didn't know if it was oh. done. Well, I did want to get – I want to play with Kidney again. But, yeah, you can listen to it now and see what I'm not, I'm not going to. I'm going to wait right. till you till you send me on WhatsApp, listen to Tiny TV. Like All right. You tell Perfect. me it's done. All right. Like, I'll, I'll, I want to listen until you say it's done. Good. I'll, I'll listen to it and play with it right now then. How about that? Why are you guys copying me? Because, <laughs> Dustin. Dustin, how much weed are you smoking out there? Uh, a lot, actually. I smoked a lot uh, Friday and Saturday. That's so tight. much weed. Are you smoking Matt's, weed? Matt's smoking weed right now. Smoking a fucking, fucking little crack pipe. Yeah, what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's a dab oil rig. For wax or whatever? Yeah, it's wax. So you, like, you heat up this piece of glass and then you like... Freebase it? it? Yeah, freebase it, essentially. That's sick. Alex has the weed down there. I actually have a bag of weed about this big, but I left it at Orlando's Here. house. I'll be right back. I want to show you this, Greg and Derek. Yeah, I got it. I uh, in when I came in April, I ordered this dude Alejandro an Uber because he didn't have any money, and he gave me this bag of weed about this big, <laughs> like ha half an ounce, and I stuck it in orlando's couch and i just went to his house and i got it but i right. then i drank those beers and i forgot it there <laughs> yeah yeah that'll happen. it's swaggy as fuck though it's like it's just they you just smoke, smoke you gotta smoke a blunt they just they just smoke blunts of swag oh yeah yeah, right. yeah. they That's don't really I, care they just smoke blunts they, yeah yeah blunts are a day that's sweet that's all we jesus you Hothead. What? Wow. <laughs> I want to be your friend again, dude. All, all of this, all of this, mm -hmm. for free. For free? For what? free. What do you all uh, free? Another uh, couch delivery lady. My my roommate Ari works with a guy that just gives him bags of weed for free. That is the best hookup you could possibly get. <laughs> And they're all different kinds. Like this one's purple Kush. 
awesome thing. There's like a Chinese thing in here. China. <laughs> that, this one just says light, uh, light, purple light. I don't even know. Weird. Like clearer than the haze, you know? Yeah. It's not, <laughs> it's not a haze. It's a yeah, light. It's just a straight up beacon. A purple beam. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. So, Deucey, you like smoke weed now? Yeah. Again. Again. Do you like it? Have you yeah. had any, like, heart attacks? Um, one night, probably two weeks ago, I got way too high to the point where I just, like, laid in my bed and squirmed around for, like, two Oh, hours. I hate that, dude. I, I hate couldn't. that. Yeah, that like, feeling. Yeah, I, I hate was, that. You gotta put some cartoons on, man. Yeah. It was too. It was too intense. I couldn't. Yeah, you gotta it. focus on something and just breathe. They're like the two yeah, key yeah, things. Yeah. Wow, that sounds awesome. I can't wait to smoke though, weed man. again. Yeah, it's fun. I like to, it. To freak out and have to squirm in my bed again. <laughs> Look at that. It's just... No, it's that's only been one time though out of like. Dozens. Looks like Matt is doing some serious drugs much, there. Yeah, this much, this drug yeah, yeah. does. Look, <laughs> I don't know. You can see the. The oh, wax yeah, in there. That. So yeah, yeah you just wax in there. That was pretty it out, put it on this little thing. Yeah, and then what? You just rub that. Yeah, and then you heat up. You heat up this tube. It's like a glass tube. Yeah. And then with a little oh, smoking yeah, piece yeah. on the end. Yeah, so you just okay. heat this up, touch it on it, and it instantly evaporates, and you're free base fucking marijuana. Can yeah. you add that to the list? How to smoke weed with Matt Taylor? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how many ways there are to like smoke weed? Like out of a tin can, out of an apple, out of a pipe, out of a bong, out of like a gravity, out of a guitar, out of a, what? Yeah. <laughs> what? I like made a bong out of a guitar one time. Yeah. It's pretty fun. <laughs> See. So what, what, what time is it where everybody is right now? It's uh, Nine, ten o'clock. Seven. Alex is the same as us. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm in the middle, middle time. Except, actually, whenever well, you change. No, right. it, okay, it, the, no, guy, I, the guy it, in the blue shirt, he, I swear he's walked past you in the same group. Is that loop? That's around? a ghost. No. It's on a loop, dude. Matt's on a, Matt has a looped background. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's just talking on the phone back there. Um, oh, he's not on a loop. Spanish horror movie, Legal. Tigers are not afraid. Watch it. Tigers are not afraid. Is it on Netflix? Um, no, it's on that Shutter app that I use, but I'm sure you can rent it for like a couple bucks off of something. Off yeah. Of is, it new, why, is it is it popular? Because I can just buy it on the road. It just came out like a couple, <laughs> like a couple <laughs> weeks ago. One well, it's 25 five. cents for every movie. Yeah, that's dope. They what like is it they, shadows on the moon or no tigers, tigers in the, are not afraid tigers yeah. are not afraid yeah. shadows on the moon close who's, who's seen the new joker movie oh who's i've seen it oh el guasson yeah is it good? what is it in, in spanish el guasson el guasson like yeah that. that's like the french one but yeah i always oh. like guasson yeah but yeah i i saw it in spanish and it was actually so good, I, like, forgot I was watching it in Spanish. So, I, like, it was the first movie I saw in Spanish that I actually believed. Like, yeah. Because other movies, like, I saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and I was like, this would be better in English. You know? Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's a lot of dialogue in there, yeah. Or, like, other movies I've seen, I'm like, eh. But The Joker, I was like, I didn't even care, dude. It was like, yeah. Robert De Niro was fucking Spanish. It was fine. Like, it was, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> it was <laughs> It was actually maybe it was better that way. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, don't how know. was the how was the laugh? Do they keep the same laugh or? Uh, I'm guessing so. The, I don't know. Do they have like a dubbed version of the Joker? I don't know. I haven't heard the English laugh. <laughs> <laughs> like what is the? I don't. I'm guessing it was the same. You could probably find it on YouTube. Just go to like search the trailer and there's they have it in there. There's that loop again. There's a, uh, yeah, that, that loop was backwards that time. <laughs> but Matt can't see him. I, yeah, I can That's see Matt's him. roommate's superpower. Only people on Zoom chat can see him. <laughs> <laughs> He's invisible good. except for on really Zoom chat. Yeah. <laughs> Deucey, do you not have heat or something? You're always like bundled up. 
Um, it's like 50 degrees here. And I, there's no, we're in a basement unit, so it's like a Cold. little bit colder. Oh, I haven't lived in mountains in like, well, probably ever. But I'm like seven and a half thousand feet up or something. Do you see, um, the weather's always spectacular, but um, it really like it. It was hot today, and uh, yesterday, like it, it. I feel like the what does the if you're higher up, does the weather usually swing like 15 degrees? It's always I mean, great. Yes. It's just Denver's weather. You know, you're like um, you know, mile high there, and. The weather there would be like 70 something in the afternoon and then like 30 at night, you know, right. there's just oh, really? huge, yeah. huge yeah. swings. Yeah. It's That's never tough. that cold. Yeah. It's never that cold, but it like drops probably 15 degrees at night, but it's usually at around 70 degrees all the time. But like 15 degrees yeah. is not really that big of a, right? That's like normal. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's yeah, what we know. do in Florida. It's like 75 or like 90 during the day and then like 75 at night. Yeah, yeah but in the in yeah. the winter, yeah. it gets colder in Florida. Here, Well, yeah, like- it'll go from <laughs> 60 to 40, but it's not Florida is still the coldest winter I've ever experienced in my life. <laughs> it's a different cold. Dude, you live in no, that's, that's – That day that I came for that fucking music festival to visit was the oh. coldest I've ever been in my entire life. <laughs> was such yeah. a bold, bold-faced lie. It was um, so cold, man. Seat. You were, like, you we were huddled we outside under a, blanket, under a blanket with yeah. a group of like six people for warmth. It was, it was nice, great, though. But yes, without that, that so you were not hard. going. Yeah. Without and then that. I met Mike Gordon. Doosty, do you remember when I met Mike Gordon? <laughs> yeah, man. Can you add that to the permanent docket, Matt? What? Stories, <laughs> stories about meeting Mike Gordon. No, you got to remember these. We have story time. You just have to remember your own fucking story time. List. I'm going to, every time we do this, Doosty, remind you of how I met Mike Gordon. Yeah, do you remember how I also could have met Mike Gordon? But I was like, no, this burger is more important than getting up. That's a good-ass burger. Gordon. Five, five bucks, Matt. We were at five bucks. We when were, I met yeah. Mike Gordon. Yeah, when I think I, I when stayed I met, inside, too. I was, I was there. I, I'm, I were think you I stayed there inside. when I yeah, met Mike Gordon? Yeah, of course he was. I, th- we were all I was there. around because I remember hearing this you story that night. You were there when I met Mike Gordon. And, oh, Michaela was there when I met Mike Gordon. Probably, and yeah. Obviously, Mike Gordon was there when I met Mike Gordon. That was pretty great. Uh, Does anybody I'm gonna say, care about Mike? Everyone Gordon? needs to get the same uh, headset configuration that uh, Matt. I don't know if that's your voice, Matt. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because uh, his voice sounds great. He's gonna carry the podcast. He's just got. He's got the best voice. Yeah. Oh, so, he's, he's my voice sounds oh, good. Matt, that's good. Matt, I I was gonna buy a headset the other day. What what is it? What is it? I, I made him the moderator the first yes. episode. Low G, guy. Just a little Logitech, Logitech headphone thing. There you go. Everyone, everyone, my voice sounds good, huh? Well, he's got you just have a good voice. voice. Yeah, that's yeah, weird. Yeah. I don't yeah. really the use it very well, but voice. I guess I, I should probably use it more often. Day. I like right? to stay quiet. Matt, I feel like you would make a killing on those sex lines. <laughs> <laughs> the sex lines? Yeah. Like, you know, play like the board, you like the... See, you can just read from a script, you know? Like, you don't have to come up with it all. It's just Give me they some want lines. your voice. I what, are, like, what, what do I have to say? I don't know. <laughs> like, you like that, you dirty bitch? Oh, those kind of lines. I thought you were, like, the lead-up part, but, like... <laughs> well, he was... No, I just wanted to hear you say that. <laughs> oh, like... Man, that's, it's probably all your training from the psychic hotline. Oh, yeah, well... I did have to, like, talk on the phone, but, I mean, Alex talked on the phone, too. He learned... Oh, because, that's true. Alex does sound pretty good. He, he has a Alex, Alex, do you remember the script still? The what? The script that you had to read for uh, your telemarketing thing? Ah, uh, wow. Um. <laughs> I don't remember, yeah, any of the scripts. We'd like to thank you for your order and, uh, wait... We're going to give you $100 in gas vouchers yep. just as our way to say thank you. <laughs> but don't, uh, I, dude, I don't remember. Wow, I don't remember. <laughs> it's been long enough where I don't That's remember. That's a good thing. That's yeah. good money, though. I was just talking about that job today to, uh, to someone. I was like, dude, that job was great. I made a buttload of money. They just like 
gave me a fucking MacBook. They gave me an iPad. They gave me like an iPod. They would just like hand me cash because wow. I would always sell a ton of shit. I was the best salesman for a while. But every day I would drink coffee and eat those stacker pills or yeah. ephedrine, ephedrine or whatever. Dude, when God. we lived at Dartmouth, I was a little bit hooked to that ephedrine stuff. Every time I'd buy alcohol, I'd buy that shit too. I don't even know why. I would just it's like sweet. buy that shit. Derek would get like 40 scratch offs and I'd be like, I'm just going to buy these weird pills that they sell and just eat them while I drink. This is awesome. I, I can drink all day and I'm never tired. This is, this must be good for me. <laughs> and now, yeah. We all did dangerous things. Matt Bang Kimber, as you know. I, yeah, yeah. I banged, I banged lots of people. You still got that. I smoked, uh, I smoked well, way no, too much. Matt. You, you banged Kimber. I did you still bang got Kimber. that. Uh, the, the old, the old, the old, the old, the old treat one. left over. I got you the got treat left over. The I mean, gift. yeah, I, I rarely see it pop up, though, so that's good. And it, I honestly had, like, a year ago, and then it was, like, a week of just, like, oh, this sucks, and then it's gone. I'm like, all right. It's not that bad. Not that bad. Add it to the docket. Yeah. Add it to the docket. Ooh. Maybe that's personal. I don't know. Uh, I was going to bring it up today while we were talking. I was like, wait, well, if this ever was, you know, I don't remember. There was a moment. Oh, it was something to do with it. Oh, it was with the dicks. Because if you switch dicks with everyone, oh, yeah. you would get yeah, everybody you... hurry. Well, of course, well yeah, I, didn't, I would get their STDs too, probably. Are there other ones? Like you guys You'd said, be like, dead if... within it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, That's hey. like a thing I have to worry about. I don't want to switch dicks. I don't want to switch dicks. Did weird. you tell him the yeah like, like my dick better? Well, do Do has a cock improvement shop? <laughs> how many how many how many HP does your dick have? <laughs> oh man, mine's like eighty five. That's, that's solid. That's solid. <laughs> it's a solid start. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I need to I need to work out. Make it. How do you work? I don't know. Do hey, what's the highest? Cocks? Yeah, what's what's the highest HP? Yeah. Nine, nine, why, nine, does, nine. why does a cock need hit points? Is that what HP stands for? <laughs> yeah. Health points or hit points, either one. Yeah, yeah. Why does it need that? Does it have an armor bar, too? <laughs> yeah, if you're in a condom, it goes way. The armor bar is the condoms, obviously. Okay. The different condoms give you different power ups because you know yeah, yeah. some are ribbed, some are smooth, some have like the lube inside or whatever. <laughs> the ones here really? they come with uh with candy. They come with a little packet of candy. <laughs> are you serious? Uh, or, or like they like they like combining ring. things in Mexico. You'll see things that are like don't go together that are combined. And it's like uh and everywhere they say, dude, there's even places called uh there's one I went by, it's called Super cool Narabarte. Like Narabarte is the area. And the name of the bar is just super cool. Yeah. I like <laughs> it. Uh, there was one bathroom I saw. It was mega fantastic clean bathroom. That's what the, <laughs> that's what like the above the so it's kind of like a joke that like they don't know any English words except like super fantastic, awesome, and mega great. So they'll just call <laughs> they'll go to a store, it'll just be called like mega great awesome. So is that bathroom store selling? Again. Toilets, or is it just a cool well, place to go take? It's, a bit, it's like a business, even to have a bathroom, because like you have to pay every. It's like Europe; you have to pay to go to the bathroom. You know, oh. like, pay to go to the really? Oh, yeah, like if you go, cool now. What? The loop in the background changed. Yeah, He's got two. Cool. Oh, oh, yeah. You have to pay to go to the bathroom, like like in Europe. Like if you want to go in a public like, place to go to the bathroom. Right? Yeah, yeah. You have to pay. Wow. So here it's like, I mean, it's like, it's literally either 25 cents or 50 cents. It's not a huge oh. deal, but okay. so like a bathroom, you know, there's like an attendant who takes your money and hands you, hands you a joke amount of toilet paper. Like if you want to take a dump, dude, they give you like eight squares. I'm like, you got to be joking. You There's fucking 40 bucks and give me some toilet paper. dude. Yeah. Like, I'll take a bubble roll for, uh, you know, like. Yeah. Can you bring your own roll in? I mean, yeah, you can carry toilet paper wherever you go. It's a free country. Like, you're allowed to do that. I don't understand, though. Like, you don't even need toilets in Mexico because you don't flush anything anyway. You're just putting it in a fucking box. 
Well, your poop goes down. Here, your poop goes down. The toilet paper goes in the garbage can. Oh, <laughs> you really can't flush toilet paper there? Yeah, well, you're not supposed to. I do, but I'm white, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, what do they, what do they say? Like, nothing in the toilet? Then... Yeah, basically, yeah. Because, yeah, the smaller old pipes, yeah, be a problem. That's why you only get eight squares. Yeah, they're they're like we know you might do it, dude. So we're just gonna we're just gonna keep you at eight squares. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah. You ever like leave a courtesy two or three? Like, well, I just usually I just usually shit before I go out. I don't. I just yeah. Piss in the bathroom. Well, yeah. I mean that's that's the uh, hell <laughs> Yeah. Unless unless you get like you know if it's like your first week here. You're shitting everywhere you go. You're just, oh, really? Just because the water you And then you get well, no toilet paper. Well, I mean, you can ask for more. Or give them like a dollar, and they'll probably give you all the toilet paper you want. You know. That park yeah. meat's going right through you. The park, the park meat will just will just clear you, dude. <laughs> really. Park meat. He goes to the park and buys meat from a guy <laughs> that has meat. Uh, on the table. Okay, so and no meats are refrigerated there. It's it's all all right. That's all right. Okay, so obviously when I told the story, I made it sound more ridiculous. But it's something called Tiangis. It's like the pop-up village in a park. So like uh, tomorrow, there's one on the street. It's like a eight-lane road. And they just block the whole thing and pop sure, up. Sure, I, I get that. Are they literally just slaughtering those animals right before they go there? No, 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 no. Well, so where is that meat sitting? Hopefully. Where is that meat sitting before they take it? You to gotta this cook the meat, Dustin. So it depends. No, no, no. It uh, it depends who it is. Some people bring it in. So, dude, actually, I went on Sunday to the Tiangis with my friend Orlando, and I had bighorn ram tacos it was like really fucking good mm -hmm. that's a thing yeah. i've never had that there's i guess there's bighorn sheep all over the mountains here yeah and I would, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, same for years we should be eating so many other meats that we don't normally get like the that's goat true. dog yeah, I've been like, eating. why can't i get elk meat at fucking sundays because i'm sure it's all good meat. give me some give me some meat yeah, yeah. dude so, uh, the sheep it was like Shredded, shredded like barbacoa oh, style. They eat giraffe meat. It was so yeah. good, dude. So good. Um, what was your question, Disney? I just I wanted to know how long that meat's sitting out. Oh, so before, yeah, like the before. The, yeah, like the sheep and shit. Like the more exotic ones, someone like probably brings them from outside of the city. You know, people like travel the the village. Like the people who live in the country, like. The farmers literally fill up their own shit and bring it in, you know, like yeah. covered in ice or whatever. Yeah. Um, the chickens, there's like a place where they go and get the chickens every day. Or some people would bring it in from like in a truck bed with ice. Um, or there's like a that, place. Okay, where that was my question. So they're bringing it in with ice and then it's just uh, sitting out for a uh, day. Yeah, I don't know if they always bring it in with ice because it's like it's just sitting there, you know. But yeah, I've but seen... I've seen trucks. Food. Greg, I've you're seen... going to need to get a headset because I can't hear a goddamn thing you're saying. <laughs> I'm saying think about the shit you get in the States that's been sitting on the shelf in the store at like maybe 50 degrees for like how long? How long is that considered? Well, dude, that's the difference is sure. they sell out of their shit every day. Like right. Right. they're every – I go by the polleria by my house. There's like five of them, five places that only sell chicken. Like each place is like meat specific. They just sell the shit till they run out, and then it's like, yeah, and it's done. That's it. So it's like yeah. the shit for the day, you know. And then. So why is everyone shitting themselves so much? <laughs> no, not everyone is, dude. The Mexicans are fine. Dude. Well, the they, Mexicans are fine because they're used to it, and now you're fine because you're used to it. But what what makes the bacteria level so different when you're not? Used to it? I because I I think, dude, it's like your gut flora, whatever that shit really means, is like literally a different composition yeah. so like when you arrive here i think like we're too in much america processed shit here. yeah dude yeah, for yeah, real dude. Much U usda man that's there dude i'm gonna i'm gonna film it tomorrow i'm gonna make the run doosty i think yeah, like, yeah. Uh, i'm gonna go well, to that like one Doosty runs one i'm gonna go to that big market you're gonna see dude it's like even the place where you get cheese, dude, their cheese is like fresh, dude. Like they just cheese isn't supposed to be fresh. 
Well, I don't know what it is, dude, but it's like, you know, like uh, cheese curds. The whole point of cheese is that it's like rotten. Okay, well, like cheese curds. I'm talking about cheese curds. Cause yeah, you have fresh cheese curds. Derek, cheese curds did, you know, did you know this, Derek, that queso de Oaxaca, queso, well, like Oaxaca queso, the Oaxaca cheese, yeah, is, yeah. Is, is, is a cheese curd. It's yeah, just, yeah. It's just it's in, a, it's in, they, a, in a string shape. Yeah, so when, yeah. I, when I buy that, like, just at the regular market, it's fine. But if I buy it at, like, the tent markets, it's squeaky. It's, like, fresh. That's what yeah, I Yeah, it's nice. nice. Like, that's that's what I meant. It's like gotcha. It's like it's really it's probably my favorite thing here. I was thinking about today, dude. I just like go with my backpack and just like buy fresh everything, or yeah, you know what I mean, great. like uh, around different parts of town. Like I just go out, you know. I'm just like get this here, this here at different places around town, and there's like a million options because that's like one of the number one ways that Mexicans make money is to sell shit Food. on the street. Yeah. Oh shit. For real, dude. Andrea, my girlfriend's dad, works one day a week. He sells chicharrones. Can, can you bring me a rug? Ooh, what's a what's a chicharron? You know, pork the, rinds. Yeah, but it's it's kind of like pork rinds, but it's like the skin. But they can prepare it in malt. Many, dude. There's like the chicharron, the skin and fat of the pig can be made so many different ways. Like. It's not just like a crispy pork rind because their pork rinds here are like this big. They come in like a sheet, hmm. but yeah. then they have yeah. like where they cook them a different way and they're like really hydrated. Pork rinds are like that big. Dude, uh, fucking uh, fresh pork rinds when they take the pig skin and fat and put it in the, it's not just oil. It's like a special something mixed with the oil that makes it puff up. Dude, fresh yeah. pork rinds are fucking <laughs> awesome. If you can find them somewhere, and I'm sure they have them somewhere. They're fucking oh, really good. Yeah. yeah, but that's probably my favorite part, dude, is just like, like, because I mean, I love to go fucking cook and do shit like that, so it's kind of great to just have fresh How shit. How you getting around down there? Huh? How you getting around? I have a bike. I bought a bike. Uh, I take the metro. Uh, I take the bus. I take something called a combi, which is a oh, underground, syst- underground system of little vans that... Yeah. Yeah. They don't, they're not on Google and you don't really know the route. They just have like a little sign on the door. There. Yeah. They just kind of go around and you just yeah. got to figure it out. <laughs> Sweet. I kind of stopped that, taking. You get a dirt bike. Yeah. I'm probably going to buy a motorcycle when I get back from Florida. Cause yeah. they're like, yeah, I'm just going to get one. But really yeah. the, the bike and the Metro and all that shit's dude, they have a really good public transport system because most people use it you know yeah right right. there's like fucking there's at least 30 different train lines you know what i mean like webbed in the city you know that's a fuck that's a fuckload dude yeah like i mean there's like a there's a fucking train everywhere you know dude i was in a station the other day dude it was eight stories it was eight stories underground dude i was like why doesn't my cell phone work and then I went up like eight fucking escalators. I was like, dude, I was in like a fucking bomb tunnel, something, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's so, dude, it's like a whole system of underground um, trains, like way more than New York City, you know? You feel safe in there? Yeah, it's fine. I've never felt like that in danger, dude. And I don't even live in like the white people part. It's fine. Oh, I mean, okay, okay. I've never felt fucking sketched out for real. Yeah. No. Yeah, I, I really don't know why. Maybe I'm, like, fucking just lost my mind. But, like, nothing really feels sketchy. And, actually, the metro is, like, the safest. And, dude, Mexico police may not really, like, do anything. And they may be corrupt, you know? Like, um, sometimes they will, like, they might just, like, want money, you know? So they might, like, write you a bullshit ticket and then just pocket money, you know? Yeah. I've never seen it happen, but I've heard, you know, I think more in the north than, like, here. But, dude, there's cops everywhere, and usually they just have, like, a machine gun or a shotgun. Yeah. yeah. Like, don't fuck around. Like, so, every, every bank, there's just a guy with a machine gun. It's like, nobody is robbing banks here because there's just, like, there's just a yeah. dude who's ready all <laughs> the time. <laughs> so, uh, my the guy I work with, Dan, um, his girlfriend and the guy that he lives with, Evan, they went mm-hmm. to Tijuana – with some other guy, I forget his name, Hot Dog, I think his name is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but they were in Tijuana, and, like, 
the cops just like like arrested them, put them in the back of the car, and like drove them to this weird spot. And then just take like, them to the ATM and say, "Oh, take out the maximum, and that's your ticket." Yeah, yeah and that's that's basically what happened. They wanted a thousand dollars. I think they gave them like a hundred and twenty because that's all they had on them. Yeah. So, I've only, let him go, but I've that was only Tijuana. heard that shit. Yeah, I've only really heard that shit in like Tijuana and on the Arizona border. All the crime and bad shit is in the north. I, I swear, dude. It's like, yeah. I mean, obviously there's crime here, but because it's a giant fucking city. But the north is like the shit they show on the news. That's like not the same as here. You know, like on right. the news, they show this like border jumping shit. That's like no one even like. I don't even like hear the word America ever. Yeah. I just hear the word Canada. Everyone's like, I just wish I could go to Canada. Like, really? Wants to... Oh my God. Yeah. Nobody, want... they just want to skip America. I swear to you. Oh, yeah. Nice. They like all are in love with Canada. They all, That's there's like lots Canada? of schools because they don't need a visa. You don't need a visa to go to Canada. Is that a blunt? I just felt so much out. Smoking. Got Twix in his hand. Um, Matt, who's cocky wearing right now? What is that? The cigar. John Hams. Yeah. John Hams. Really John better of Hams here. Yeah, I'm wearing oh, yeah. John Hams cock right now. Uh, oh, Paul Bagel, it's too blurry. Hey. Oh, you get. Focus on it. Man? Guys, still got your birthday shirt. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta turn your uh, one, one quick, and then we'll send it out. We'll do that tomorrow. Yep. Oh, you got it built? You, you, you created it? Yeah. I, yep. I said I'll tomorrow. do, I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yeah. I suppose it probably wouldn't take super long. Well, the one I made for Greg took like an hour and a half, so. I will, uh, I need you to send me a bag of Blue Healer Collectivo beans. You want that? <laughs> yeah, I'll pay you for all of it. Don't just pay me. I want That's Blue Healer so much. This is that coffee? Yeah. Yeah. You're in Seattle and you want him to import Milwaukee coffee? Yeah, I think wow. Collectivo is better than anything I've had here so far. Really? Yeah. So I, I do a lot of work with Collectivo, and I know pretty much all of them. Um, but the they like send people to Colombia to learn how to roast and do all this shit. And I know Alex, you have your own uh, thing with them. I want to try this fucking. Pretty coffee. much. Pretty much. You got like, a bag. Come your way. Like yeah, a lot yeah, of the yeah, big. Yeah like coffee roasters throughout the United States like learned how to learned how to roast coffee at Collectivo and then they like went to New York or went to LA and started you, their own thing. What do you mean I have a thing with coffee? What your your uh when you went to the coffee farm in uh Columbia, Oh yeah. That was yeah. the best coffee and I brought it back, but basically he said that he said the same thing. The guy I was like an organic coffee farm that I went to and he produced, you know, like small batch because you have to dry it, roast it. He roasted it in the Colombian sunlight on the rooftop, basically. Like and it just Yeah, because the way that like Folgers, Dunkin' Donuts, the Starbucks roast they're just burning their burning that shit. Yeah, dude, they're destroying yeah. it. Seattle's best coffee, all the big ones. So, like, Collectivo, if they do that, it's, like, equally as good as any, like, small batch, like, home roasted, basically, like, dried out on a fucking rooftop sort of deal. Because the guy was saying, like, the chemical roasting just destroys the flavor and fills it with, like, carcinogens and shit and just turns it to the mass-produced trash coffee, you know? Yeah. So. From what I've seen, it's like a... It's like a giant coffee bean uh, hose dryer. Yeah. It's like tumbling, tumble dry coffee bean. Oh, okay. So the dude where I went, he had these like rooftops that he could like slide them out, you know? And then he basically had like a rake and he would just like, 
I don't know how how many times a day he would just like stir it, you know. Yeah, yeah. But it was yeah. like it was it was each roof was probably one to two to three beans deep, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. It was yeah. shallow, and he would just he would walk on it. He would just kind of stir it around, you know, and get those feet I mean, flavors in there. Get flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then uh, there's like different the different <laughs> ages of the coffee. You just pick the beans at different levels, like right. Yeah. So like dark roast here dark roast it basically means they burn the fucking shit out of the coffee right like real yeah. real dark roast is more expensive because those beans take about three times as long on the fucking tree to turn that color you know what i mean right to turn yeah. that dark i forgot what it was called cherry cherry uh yeah coffee whatever to turn that color it takes way more time so the green beans, like your regular everyday coffee, right, that they right. just pick, there's way more of those. You know what I mean? So the really dark uh, coffee takes more, it costs more money because those beans are like more precious because yeah, it, takes, it, uh, it takes more yeah. time to grow those. So like yeah. when I was like there actually picking coffee, it's like you fill the thing and then you actually have to fucking sort it. Most of them go in one, but you pick out the really dark ones for the like special batch coffee. That's why like yeah. uh, that's why that you know if they have like a cherry a cherry roast or whatever I think it's called, that's like the more expensive. But you notice yeah. it too. Yeah, dude. And the dude, he didn't have a coffee maker, espresso machine, nothing. He prepared coffee the same way my mom did. That I was like, this is a crazy way to make coffee. He literally just puts coffee in a cup, fills it with hot water, and waits. Yeah. And all the grounds go to the bottom. Like yeah. he said, he, he was like, dude, all the other ways is just, just, this is the best way to make. I'm like, yeah, I guess you're right. But yeah. Um, I'm going to borrow that. Yeah. Have you ever made it like that, Greg? No, no, no. You just like put a teaspoon or two or three or four, depending on, you know, much you want. <laughs> well, I always grind it up and then French press. And you don't, yeah, French press is like the same. And then you he you just don't boil the water. Just when it starts to make little bubbles, that's the water you want. Basically. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Like 180 degrees. Like yeah, like right when it's nice. it's just start, not boiling. He said boiling's too much, but just starting to bubble. He's like that's that's where it's at. And then so it'll usually, foam. I, usually I boil the water, right? And then I'll let it I'll let it sit and I'll just like pour it over some fresh grounds just a little bit, like just to cover the grounds. And then I'll like slow pour it over that and then let it sit and then add more later yeah yeah <clears throat> but i've been trying yeah. to get a cold brew it's just hard it's just 24 hours man i don't have that time yeah i always i always cold brew tea like tea all the time and yeah. it's, it's, i just have i just have two jugs because one i'm making one i'm drinking you know all right i'm starving and i still have to watch movies so that's fine. Are, are you doing are you doing the movies this month? I'm not doing 31 or whatever, but I've got like a list that I'm trying to work my way through. Okay. All, right. All, right. All right. Lucy, can you what was that called again? Uh Tigers Are Not Afraid. And Matt, can you send me what model your headphones are? Uh yeah, I can find them. <laughs> it looks right on it. Yeah, that's correct, Alex. I'm going to watch that probably like right now. Yeah. But dude, Deucey, that's like, it's so, I think I already told you this, but like outside of Walmart, there's like a guy who has hundreds and hundreds of movies for sale, counterfeit. Yeah. It's like, like, and there's a well, cop I right don't, there. It's I like, don't even no know if it's, laws. I don't know if it's been put on disc yet. Like it just, it just got went into theaters like a couple months ago and then now it's on like VOD, you know? Do you know, do you know the other, um, uh, I, I think it's Spanish something. It's in theaters here. Um, I, I just saw it. Like, I, I don't know, maybe it's only here. I don't know, but um, what the fuck was it? It was something, something horror. It was like a horror movie. The a Spanish made horror movie? Dude, I thought so, but um, do you know what the plot was at all? Anything about? No, it? I just saw the sign. 
Oh, fuck, I don't know. Movies and theaters now. Uh, I don't know. If I find out, I'll tell you, but more films. Maybe I just got to click more films. Ah, what was it fucking called? Uh, yeah, I don't see it. I, I saw it at the movie. I go like every Tuesday to the movies. Yeah. Um, because I've fallen victim to the Mexican two for one promotion. Like everything's got to be a promotion, but it's, it's actually kind of great. It's 70 pesos. So it's about $3 and 50 cents for two people to go to the movies. It's kind of a great deal. So I just go every Tuesday, um, and watch something. Um, that's why I asked if there's anything good. Have you, what do you think about 4D, Doosty? What do you mean? Have you, I went to one and it was, I went to Toy Story 4 and 4D. It wasn't really that exciting. Oh, 4D? Oh, 4D. I have not um, no, never tried experienced that. it yet. Have I've you tried seen the it? seats that rumble, but. Yeah, that's part of 4D, yeah. Oh, that's all I've done. I've done in 4D. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I saw I saw SpongeBob in 4D at Noah's Ark. Yeah, they like, picked this thing up straight out. It, was it pretty great? It was dope. <laughs> yeah, the 4D is. I was like, this is cool, but I thought there would be like more more to the fourth D. It's like it's kind of like 3D with just a little bit more. Yeah. It's just someone standing next to you blowing in your face. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually someone's superpower. They can make yep. everyone feel wind only in movie theaters. Oh, that's, that's... <laughs> I like that segment oh. we got going. Uh, <clears throat> and then the random a, ass superpowers. And then there's another guy in the movie theater who can fart any smell. So, like, if they're eating pancakes, he just farts pancakes, and the whole oh, theater yeah, can smell it. Yeah. I'd so, be into that. It's time. It's time to eat. Deucey's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, see you guys. Two. Bye, guys.